All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to talk about skip counting on a number line. We're going to use skip counting on a number line to solve multiplication problems. So here's our essential question. How can you use a number line to skip count and find how many in all? So let's get started. So our first problem says, Caleb wants to make three balls of yarn for his cat to play with. He uses six feet of yarn to make each ball. How many feet of yarn does Caleb need in all? Okay, so we've got to take a couple of steps. First, we need to think how many equal balls or groups of yarn will he make? How many balls does he want to make? So let's take a look. Caleb wants to make three balls of yarn. All right, so he wants to make three groups or three balls of yarn. How many feet of yarn will be in each group? This says that he needs six feet of yarn in each group. So let's write the six here. So he wants three equal groups or balls, and he wants six feet of yarn in each group. So what is the question asking us to find? How many feet of yarn does Caleb need in all? So to figure this problem out, we're going to use another way. We've used equal groups already in earlier lessons, and we used repeated addition. So now we're going to look at a number line and how to use a number line to solve this problem. So we know that he needs three lengths of yarn, and he needs six feet for each ball. If he wants three balls, he needs three lengths of the yarn. So we're going to jump on our number line six places for one ball of yarn. So one ball of yarn needs six yards, or six feet, sorry, six feet of yarn. So there's one of our balls. So now we're going to jump another six feet on our number line to 12. Have we jumped all of the jumps we need to jump? We haven't gotten our three balls of yarn yet, so let's go six more. Now, with the three jumps, this is one ball of yarn. Here's one ball. Here's another ball. And here's another ball. And within each ball, we have how many? We have six feet within each ball. So, looking at our number line, we see we have three groups of, remember, six three groups of six and how what did that get us 18 and we need a label no naked numbers feet of yarn so sometimes we might just see the number line and know how many jumps we need so look at this problem it says to skip count by drawing jumps on a number line find how many it five how many in five jumps of four then write the product so we're going to do five jumps of four five jumps of four so let's do five jumps of four here's a jump of four one here's a jump of four two here's another jump of four three then we're going to go another one, four, and one more, five. We have gone five jumps, and each jump is four spaces long. Four spaces, four, 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 and four. So five jumps of four spaces equals 20. And that's where we landed, was 20. On this number line, we're going to draw jumps in the number line to show equal groups and find the product. Remember, the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. We are going to go 8 groups of 3, or 8 jumps of 3. So I'm going to take my pen, and I'm going to go 8 jumps of 3. So here's 1 jump of 3 two jumps of three and guys we're skip counting here three six now we're gonna go another jump of three nine then we're gonna go another jump of three 
One, two, three. All right, 12. So we have three, six, nine, 12. Let's go three. I'm going to count right here. One, two, three. That's where my line's going to jump. How many times have I jumped so far? One, two, three jumps, four, five jumps. I'm, am I done yet? Nope, I've got to go eight jumps. So let's go another jump of three. If we're at 15, then we're going to jump to 18, then to 21, and then to 24. So we have gone six, seven, eight. We did our eight groups, and each group has three in each group. So we have eight jumps of three or eight groups of three. That would be eight groups of three three and those are our factors our product is oh sorry our product is 24 so we figured out that 8 times 3 is 24 now let's take a look at this number line it's already got jumps on it so we're going to write the multiplication sentence that the number line already shows us well let's look first the first thing we need to figure out is how many jumps are there? Well, there's one, two jumps. So I'm going to write two as one of my factors. Two jumps. Now, how many are in each jump? From zero to the first jump, we have nine. And then from nine to the second jump, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We went nine spaces, so we went for two groups of nine jumps. And I know it's hard to see right there, but we landed on 18. So two groups of nine, or two times nine, gives us the product of 18. So let's look back at our essential question. Our essential question was, how can we use a number line to skip count and find how many in all? Well, you guys were all asking about skip counting, and I think the number line really shows us how we did that. Skip counting is us skipping numbers while we're counting. So when we start at zero, instead of going straight to one, we're going to skip. So if I was going to skip count by threes, then I would go one, two, three, and start with three. So if I'm going to skip count by threes, let's pretend I have a multiplication problem. I have four groups of three. If I'm going to go four jumps and I'm going to skip in each jump three times, so here's one jump. I need to have how many jumps? The number of groups is the number of times that I need to jump. So four is the number of groups. I need to jump four times. Three is the number in each group, and that means that's the number I'm going to skip count by on the number line. So here's three. One, two, three, jump again. One, two, three, jump again. How many times have I jumped so far? Oh, I've only jumped three times. I've got to jump four times. So let's go one more time. One, two, three, and jump one last time. I've now jumped four times, and in each jump, I jumped three, or I skip counted by threes. So, four times three is equal to 12. That gives us that product. So, you can use a number line to help you skip count and figure out a multiplication problem. Now, we've learned another way to do it.